Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be showing you guys, it's not every single thing that my husband has got on the road, excuse me, for me, when he was a truck driver, but there's quite a few things. There's something from kind of Area 51, some other stuff from all over, so we're gonna go through it and I'm gonna show you what my husband has picked up for me. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure you take a moment, hit that subscribe button. If you're not familiar, my husband was an over the road truck driver for over four years. So he's been to the majority of the 50 states and he has picked up various things for me and the kids on his travels. So I'm gonna show you everything that he has got us. So if you are interested in seeing that, then stick around, let's I jump I do also it. have a bunch of stickers. They are in this box. I think I'm gonna do a separate video just because there's a lot in there. I think this will be too long if I, cause he's picked up some stickers for me. And then uh, my friend Christine has given me some, a few of you guys have also sent me some. I've gotten various stickers in palettes and things that I've ordered. So I think that will be a separate video, but let's, I put everything in the tote bag cause most of this stuff is in our bedroom. Let me scoot back here. Okay, so I can put the bag in my lap. Most of this stuff is in our bedroom. A couple of the stuffed animals were in the kids' room, but they don't really play with them. So like this top one, I think is gonna go on their shelf that's on the wall, but this is a stuffed jackalope. And don't ask me where he got all of the, cause I honestly don't remember what states they came from, but so we've got the stuffed jackalope. And then we have an actual like stuffed jackalope. So if you're offended by taxidermy animals, I apologize, but it's, this was an actual rabbit. He looked for one for a long time that wasn't like ridiculously expensive. So this sits on my nightmare before Christmas shelf near our living room. So there is that one. And then I love Bigfoot. He's going to go behind me somewhere. This was Diana's stuffed little baby Bigfoot, but she doesn't play with him anymore. So again, he's going to live because I love Bigfoot. He's going to live down here. And then for our room, we have the Bigfoot shot glass with the Bigfoot. He's a little dusty, uh, so don't judge me too bad, but... These, the Bigfoot stuff came from Washington and then Mike has also picked up a couple of t-shirts. I didn't pull any of the shirts out. From Kansas, oh, this, does this say where he picked it up? This, Little America, the, so the Jackalopes came from the Little America truck stop, which I do not off the top of my head recall where that is, but I know it's a famous truck stop, but there's a Jackalope snow globe, so. And he didn't get all of these at once. He got them different times when he went through. From Kansas, he did find me a tornado in a jar, which I wanted one of these forever. My grandmother went to Kansas um, years ago for like American business women's and had bought me one of these. And so it's got, you know, the water tornado. So he did finally find me one. He looked around for a couple of years before he found that, but I have my pet tornado. To go, I'll save the alien stuff for the end. This I threw in here. Um, my daughter had a dinosaur cake and my mother-in-law had one plesiosaur. So he's gonna hang out down here with the stuffed Bigfoot, but I just threw him in the bag because I thought he was cute. If you don't know, that's what they think the Loch Ness Monster is. I'll turn that so that's not in the way. Okay. And this was one of the first things he got. He actually put it in my stocking for Christmas the first year he started driving. But it's just a little fairy. She sits on my desk upstairs. And then we have the alien stuff. So we have my stuffed alien that he picked up at a truck stop because Anna I like aliens and UFOs and then cryptids. So we have him. He again is in our bedroom. 
And then the map sits on my shelf. I do have a signed print from Bob Lazar, which if you're not familiar, he worked at Area 51 during the 80s and he was one of the big whistleblowers. He did a couple of years ago some autographed signed sketches and the sketch is of the UFO that he saw when he was working at Area 51. So it's a sketch of the image and then he signed it. So I do have that, which sits above that shelf with my Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. And then this is on there. Eventually we're gonna get this framed. We just have not. He took, my husband has done some military loads. So that's how he ended up. This is the Nevada National Security Site, NNSS, brochure and controlled access area. I, I'm not gonna hold this up super close. I don't think this part is like the, cause you have area 20 on here. Hopefully I'm not gonna get in trouble for showing this. Cause it, this map does not show area 51, but this is the base that is connected to area 51. So he has been to area 51. This is the map that they give you when you check in at the gate and you have to have your background ran and have access granted but area 51 is like over in here I think in conjunction with this but this is the rest of the base obviously area 51 is not on the map because it's super classified but this is the base where area 51 is so my husband has been to area 51 so I have the map and this is the only thing that you can get so again we are going to frame this because this is as close as you can get to an actual map of Area 51. So that is the majority of the things. Like I said, there's a couple of shirts and then we have like a stuffed buffalo that he got, I think in Wyoming, that I didn't bring down. And a couple other like stuffed animals. I've got a couple of stuffed unicorns that I didn't bring down. This was the more like unique things. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for sitting and hanging out with me. I hope this wasn't too boring. Again, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And hopefully I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye, everybody.